Don't be sorry, young man. Be careful. Yes. I hear you. What you said? So as you were saying, I said I hear you. Man, you said you hear me, but you don't really hear me, though. Look, right? So I wanted to yes. tell you that I'm proud of you, but not just for getting older, because anyone inhaling and exhaling, staying alive, and figuring out how not to die. Anybody else? It, uh oh, I'm sorry, lady. My apologies. Anyone can do it. <laughs> um, but to actually grow and evolve as a human being, to learn, mature, you know, like that, sh yeah, that requires celebration. Cause you won't you won't believe how many uh, child fifty year old deals out here. Motherfuckers who ain't got no morals, no standards, no principles, and no practice, no practices to to account for themselves. And they still out here, man, passing off as adults, passing off as grown men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh. So the most important thing, man, is just to man, handle yourself like a man at all times. And people will have no choice but to treat you like that. I can't see you, bro. Like, what's up? Fine. What's up, bro? I'm in the car. I don't care where you at. It's a light in the car, ain't it? Man, this is a difficult car. I should have just wrote a caption. That's crazy. That's crazy. crazy. Okay. Better? Just got to make sure I see who I'm talking to. Okay. Yeah, that's you. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah, just got to make sure, man. So, I also, I must applaud you at taking the necessary steps at, uh, at growth and um, making the necessary adjustments to become a better young man, answering the call and the challenges, you know, doing the uncomfortable, the uncomfortable work. Like, that's, that's the tough. You know, people don't ever see. You know, everybody sees the fun part where, you know what I'm saying, you posting pictures from private jets and, yeah, you know I mean, you you out driving golf carts and you in and out of quarter million dollar cars. Everybody see that. But making the necessary adjustments in order to grow and evolve as a young man. Those are the things that I'm impressed with. Those are the things that I'm impressed with. Because as a rich kid, you have a lot of things that you could do or acquire. Or you could assume the responsibility or assume the luxury of. But instead of doing that, you actually operate with more standards and principles. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? That's the stuff that make people really, really like that's that's the stuff that make people really appreciate you as a young man. You know. Make people really see what you what you made of on the inside. Because I've told you this many, many times. But the things I put you through, the things I force you to go through and don't allow you to evade or avoid 
<laughs> those those are adversities. Adversity builds character. And character will take you places that money cannot. Anybody yeah. can just got spend a lot of money pay for get fixed anybody can do that what you want to pride yourself in being though is a master of solutions finding ways to solve problems that you can think of for free but the next person has to pay a bunch of money to figure out how to solve having your relationships your experiences and your 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 information that you gather your research and it work for you when other people got to spend money to solve these same problems. That's what the things I put you through is going to get you that kind of that price that other rich kids ain't going to be able to buy. You know? So, just want to pride you there, uh, pat you on the back, tell you proud of you, and let you know that it's for a purpose. One day, man, you'll look up and you'll have a lot of a lot of tools in your tool belt that other people your age uh, that are in the same circumstances or similar circumstances in you, they won't have those tools in their tool belt because they didn't, they weren't put through the same things that I put, I put you through. So I just want to let you know that. Yeah. It's not all for nothing. And I appreciate you for it. Right on, man. It's easy to say that now. Just remember that next time I tell you no. Okay. <laughs> but where'd you just, where you, you in Fort Lauderdale? Why are you in Fort Lauderdale? Where you coming from? Where am I coming from? Yeah, where you coming from? Where you been? A cruise. Coming from a cruise. Man, that man. Yeah. Where you cruise to? Huh? Where'd you cruise to? Where was your cruise? You said when the cruise what? Where'd the cruise? Man, I Someone can't even get a cruise to. <laughs> I said, where did you, where was your cruise so what? to? The Bahamas. Where was your cruise to? Where did you, to the Bahamas? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, on your 15th birthday, you went on an international An international aquatic cruise. Yes. Hey. Now you know what great reward comes from responsibility, right? Yes. You know that. You know that, right? Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> you know that, right? Because, man, because for you to live exponentially better and more luxurious than other people around you your age and your bracket your peers you know that you must do exponentially more yeah there's no way there's no way for you to enjoy an increasingly amount more luxuries, uh, excuse, excuse me, luxuries, an increasingly <laughs> amount more luxuries without having an increasingly amount of more responsibilities, more expectations. You understand that, right? Yes, I do understand. All right, cool. You know, cause some people just watching there, they could think, oh, all I have to do is just have my dad to be T.I. And it's just like this. Is it easy for you? No. Let's hear about your woes. What? Let's hear about your woes. Like, as a rich kid, like, what are some of the things that, you know, you feel like you should be able to do that you still can't do, even though people think you probably can do whatever you want? Like, what are the things that you still just can't do? Go to the mall by myself. Um, Six Flags. Um, shoot. Um... I can't go to like no big events by myself. Can't go bowling by myself. None of that. Okay, so basically, well, independence yeah. and privacy. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, now how about this? 
you make money. Yeah. You, know, you have your own bank account, your own bankroll. What if you just wanted to go out today and spend all your money on something that you wanted to buy? I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Why not? I, because of you. <laughs> I love but, being but the you, villain in this. Because of you, I can't do it. <laughs> but why not, though? Why won't I let you do it? Because it's not smart. It's not a smart investment. Because it's not a wise investment. Right. Right. And what we learned is... We it's learned not about what... There are, song is about what's in you. there are profits. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Keep talking. What'd you say, sir? I said that it's not about what's on you. It's about what's in you. There you go. Not about what's on you. It's about what's in you. That's the absolute truth, man. Like, you can spend a million dollars on a bunch of to put on you, but if it ain't in you, on the way up out of here. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, man? I, uh, I really just wanted to share this moment with you, brother. And wish you a very happy birthday. Tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you. You know, inspire you, motivate you to continue to fight the good fight. Because you got you got six more hard years left. You got six hard years left to go. You know what I mean? And I yeah. just want you to be motivated and inspired to finish strong. Find the strength inside you to fight. Keep fighting. I got it. I got it. Keep fighting, bro. Because one day, man, you're going to look back and, you know, you're going to tell us all to kiss you. You dig what? what I'm saying? You're going to tell us all to kiss you. You know, you're going to say, man, I got my own money now. Can't nobody tell me what to do. I've already, you know, made X. X, Y, Z amount of money doing A, B, C of an endeavor, and I don't need nobody to control my money no more, and now I know what to do, so y'all can kiss my... Oh, he gone. I guess, you know, this is a perfect example of when you continue to engage in a discussion on your own after everyone has left the room. That's fine. At least you guys are. You guys picked up on what I was trying to say. But I think it's very important, man, you know what I'm saying, to, I think it's important to, you know what I'm saying, to really articulate to the next generation, or at least to our kids, articulate to them the points we're trying to make and how it could affect them, show them how it associates to, you know, their, their, their lifestyle later on, man. And, when I ask my kids what they want to be when they grow up, I always say, okay, let's figure out what kind of life you want to live, first of all. Because one of my kids said somebody wanted to, I think Major, he said he wanted to work at a toy store. I said, okay, well, look, let's, let's, let's sit down and write down how much money it takes for you to live the lifestyle you want to live. So we wrote down what kind of house, what kind of car, you know what I mean, how many games he wanted to have, what kind of clothes. And the good thing about Major is he don't give a fuck about nothing material. So this particular exercise didn't necessarily work how I expected it to work for him. <laughs>